Uh, super. Uh, so we're going to pick up where we were in the game. Here is where you left off. You are in Shallow Creek Mine. You are up in uh, a corner of it. You just finished fighting some cave scorpions in an area below you to the south in the mine. Uh, and you uh, came up this uh, little stairway. Uh, let me see if I can get this. You came up the stairway. Here they are, two dead scorpions down here. You came up the stairway from all this area with rubble and mining and stuff. You discovered an altar that was here. It was a dwarven altar, a shrine to the miners who died in the Shallow Creek mine disaster where the mine was flooded when the Shallow Creek stopped being shallow for a little while. And you decided that uh, Percy and Thaddeus were going to push up along this back hallway. Percy is still carrying uh, the dwarf that you know is Burgle. And the rest of you are all still finishing up with the things that you were doing. You had just freed Willibrus, that little dwarven ghost miner. You freed him at this shrine. By right? bringing the mirror? The mirror, yeah. 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 Do you guys have any questions about any of that stuff? I would like to comment how nice and cool it feels down here in the dungeon or in the mine. <laughs> yeah, we bought it's an air conditioner nice. just for this. <laughs> Good. Okay. And, and this one, the one who complained about being confined in other mines. Oh, yes. It's really hot outside. I know it is. <laughs> it's crazy hot outside. Yeah, we're thankful to be inside and cool right now, yeah. man, because it's a big. Okay, so uh, this is where you're at. I'm going to pull this out just like this and let you guys tell me what you want to do next. I'm going to go right around the table. We usually do a clockwise thing. Let's do that this time. We haven't time. seen introductions. Oh, sorry. We're we're off balance a little bit today. So we'll start with introductions, and then you guys can tell me what you want to do after that. So let's start with, uh, on my left, the amazing wizard Raven. Good day. I'm Glenn the Valley. I'm playing your wizard uh, Raven Alexium today. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to cast some spells and see what kind of wild magic happens randomly to us. Hooray. You yeah. at least happy about that. Not. <laughs> Hi, I'm um, Josephine Smith. My alter ego is Amanda Thomas. I am a resident badass and smartass, interchangeable at times. Um, or concurrent, depending on the day. <laughs> I am not Josephine Smith. <laughs> Today. <laughs> Today. No. My name is Lavinia Rose. I am actually the wife of this game master down there. Maddie. Hello. And what a crazy adventure this is. Anyways, um, I am the fortune teller. I am also one of the healers of the group. And... I love this game. There you go. I'm the late great Percival Redfeather, and uh, yeah, I did show up a little bit late today. But hopefully, I'm not going to be dead. Anyway, but the uh, I'm also Robert Woodbury, and uh, we're, I'm the uh, your roving adventurer and your uh, uh, gadabout. But I'm also a weir tiger. So whenever things become dire, I become a tiger. When things are in dire, I become a were tiger. And nobody knows when that is. I want you to know what you have unleashed. <laughs> well, we have to we have to be that's I'm totally cool with that. We have to be fast on the cameras. I'm like, oh I gotta get, get her on camera when that happens. Okay. My name is Ian Little and I am playing Adius Poindexter, a physician. Just a simple physician, nothing else. <laughs> oh, yeah, Doesn't right. he just look yes. so normal? Yes, he does. I mean, Completely he looks innocent. like just a nice guy. Trained at the University of Louisiana. That's right. And he has sharp, stabby oh. knives and other things oh, going on. for medical on. purposes only. Yeah, right. Surgery. He sure. is... Sometimes I have to perform surgery. There are lots of doctors Very that know how to throw knives stop. through the air and kill things with them at 30 feet away. But how is he at playing cards? Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm just a beginner. <laughs> oh, of course. All right, okay. I wouldn't bet on that. The real card shop uh, is my, uh, my cousin, uh, um, 
Abernathy? Abernathy yes. Beauregard. Be- Beauregard Abernathy, my, my oh. no good cousin. Okay. Was, you know, was he older than you or younger than you or the same age? Well, we're the same age, but a lot of people say there's a family resemblance. I don't see it myself. Do you have like a, does Abernathy have a bigger nose than you or anything like that? <laughs> oh, Beauregard well. Abernathy? One, one always shows the... Um, From the way that I was looking at it. You know, the deeds one does shows up physically on, on a person's face. Okay. Have you not read the um, portrait of Dorian Gray? I, you know what? There is a classic I have actually not read. I've had read most of the classics and there's one. Which, it's, which it's free on, um, you know how they give out all the classics for free on your readers? I just downloaded it the other day. Wow, look. Check that out. See? Yes. yes. And okay. Anne of Green Gables. I'm part way through that. Yeah, I, I read Moby that. Dick on my reader. So mm-hmm. it was Moby cool. Dick. Go and actually get the comic book. Much better oh, than the, the comic book. book is great. I yeah. despise the book Moby Dick. And I love most of the classics, but that book was just oh, there's the story in Moby Dick is this big. The book of Moby Dick is this big, and the rest of it is a treatise with photos on how to butcher whales. Mm-hmm. So if you really, really like looking at a lot of bleeding blubber, that's that's your thing. But if you actually want a good story, go get the Moby Dick comic, man. It's because it, you know, actually has the, the action part and the characters and the interesting stuff. Would you introduce yourself? I'm Dave Wildson. I am the um, creator and uh, GM of the Wilders game that we play. And I am now going to ask my players what they want to do in the Shallow Creek Mine Dungeon. So we're going to go with uh, Raven. You are standing down where you are standing beside Lavinia and Josephine. What do you want to do? You're on the screen. Okay. Let's go to the... uh, We've just killed uh, two scorpions. Is that correct? Yeah, you killed them like a while ago. Yeah. Okay. Half an hour ago. Um, I am listening. We did. (laughs) I'd like to do a uh, detect magic and see if there's anything in the area. Spoken like a true wizard. Detect magic. And you're like, your area for that is like, what, 20, 20 feet, 30 feet? I think it's 30 feet. I am going to zoom out and I'm going to give you a big circle. I'm going to save anything in that circle. Pretty smart idea. Anything in that circle actually has a something that you need to detect in it. Measure. Circle from raven Burp. and uh how many feet uh 30 foot e- emanation 30 foot emanation no there is nothing magical in all of that green area that you see on the game map there and the part we can't see because of the uh, mist of war okay so then i will defer to uh the next player until we make a move and then i'll follow that direction Okay, Josephine, what do you think? What do you want to do? Uh, Bear and I are going to follow these um, adventurous gentlemen up. Hold on. Let's go. Let's go. So. We are. Oh. Try moving your tokens. Remember, click I'm, on your yeah, token. I'm, I, I am trying to do that. I'm telling Sometimes everybody you else the to do arrow it too. keys. Try the arrow keys. Everybody oh, right, the arrow else. Keys. Arrow keys work better because they uh, like snap, yes. Snap Use arrow stuff. keys and everybody else. Try and move your tokens around and see what happens. Okay, I'm. Uh, Let's try putting my glasses on. Bear and I are joining these gentlemen. Oh. Okay. The reason that I point this out is, the walls have walls. Mm-hmm. You can no longer go through black spaces because there are barriers in place for your tokens. The walls actually do have walls in the program. (laughs) So you cannot take shortcuts. Can't be like ghosts. So one, there you go. So you once know. Once upon a time, a long time ago, this husband of mine attempted to teach me how to play video games. And the game that he was playing all I could ever do was run up against the wall and get stuck. And that's that's what I did. So I'm having memories. Yeah, I think it was it was like World of Warcraft, wasn't it? Yes, it was. The World War Yeah, here's my here's my impression of Lavinia in World of Warcraft. Kunk. Kunk. 
stuck all the time, couldn't move anywhere. <laughs> it's so okay. true. So back to the game, wow. Lavinia. You um, I just... your turn. What are you doing? Are you going up the hallway <laughs> with the rest of them? Trying to get my screen back. Just a minute. All right. Well, you figure that out, and we'll go to Percy. Percy, you're the one in front. Uh, do I see anything ahead of me? You can look further down that hallway. I'm going to remove a bunch of this fog of war that's here. Oh, sorry about that. Let me get a little quicker on the... Doo -doo -doo. I'm going to click away some of that fog of war. Sorry, I have a quick question. Are we still carrying that one dwarf? I am carrying yes, the dwarf on yes, my shoulder. Can, you and see you know what I'm going to do? See his, um, Maybe I won't even tell you. Right All right. I can't imagine We're, what you're going to do. You, you, you just, right you just wait. what he's going to do. He's got just plans wait. for a dwarf. i got plans, man. Well, you're going to do dwarf tossing? It's weird. Shush. <laughs> they already did the don't, don't dwarf don't toss try to at the beginning. What I'm do. yeah. Yeah. Does it involve a jello wrestling pit? It might, <laughs> but that's later. Okay. So, um, do I see anything down the hallway? You look down the hallway, uh, swinging the dwarf around for light. No, Thaddeus has the light, doesn't he? It doesn't matter. When you look down the hallway, no, you don't see anything down the hallway. You see, you come to a dead end, and it is a left-hand turn. Okay. As you turn and you look to the left, you see the dim glow, the very dim glow of a couple of, it looks like they are forges that have got uh, coal in them. Are they showing up okay on there? Yeah. Who's who's uh, running the cameras? Uh, oh, Rob is right now. Uh, who do we and need? I've also got them, but I keep on forgetting to switch mine. Uh, who do you want? I just wondered who's running the cameras. Okay. Do you want the table? Oh. All right. Yeah, let's good. stick with table for so now. Stick with the table shop for now. Okay. And um so that's what you see. You see a couple of very dim, it's a very, very <laughs> dim light coming from them because the goals, the 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 coals of uh of uh charcoal in them have all burned down. It's a very deep heat that's in them. And okay. um you don't see anything sitting on them or anything, they just seem to be lit. All right. Well, I'll I'll whisper back to the others. Come on, it looks okay. Okay. Uh, so it's per, it's Thaddeus's turn. Oh, and Thaddeus, can you check for traps? <laughs> Mr. Red Feather, would you require some light on the subject? I do. All right. I'm going to uh, move ahead. All right. Gonna move yourself ahead. So. For those folks at home, we are playing both with tokens and with minis. The reason we are doing that is the mini, the tokens are for your benefit. The minis are for our benefit. We like to play with minis on our tabletop, but you guys can't see that except a little bit on the game screen. So we also use tokens so that we can remember our positions from uh, episode to episode and night to night and stuff like that. And also that's what we double click on to open our character sheets. And it helps for combat what uh how far up are you going you're going that far um i should probably at least get to the corner so i can start checking for traps all right well you can make it the corner you guys are not in combat or anything you can go mm -hmm. as far so as you, you can want. squeeze past me or what do you figure oh i'm very agile mr red feather i can do that just skipped right over you yeah there you go right yes. yeah okay he's right there raven is that how far up you're going sure well i'm, I'm no i'm going to stay back here um just you. to check for like traps you're in the corner and, and i can't get past whatever you, won't let me. maybe there okay i moved <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> it's just like a replay of what dave just said <laughs> i know but no it, so, it would it was it would as not thaddeus let me is me. searching for traps he and percy both hear a sound uh -oh. and that sound goes like this <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you have a little of this? Thaddeus and Percy both look up towards the sound. Stop moving your characters when you're when you're not supposed to be sorry. moving. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And at, is that where you want to be, be for sure? You, you shouldn't be there right now. I As they do that, that, I could move mine because Mum apparently couldn't move her. They time. see oh, an explosion go in off in the dark. From what direction? From between the in the darkness between the two braziers. So they see this explosion go off, and all of a sudden, boo! 
boom a great big uh grenade i guess is what it is lands and goes off right between them so uh everybody can roll for initiative uh I, where is this going off i'm sorry i'm, I'm right there in the forge between the two forges between okay. no the right explosion here. has gone off between these two players oh you are ground zero of where that explosion went off oh shoot shabizzle everybody else is also in combat except for our little dwarf who appears to be dead <gasps> from the explosion oh no so burgle is no longer with you <laughs> Yes, uh, as far as damage for the rest, for the other two of you, uh, Josephine is outside the splash area of the damage. Dave goes and starts to rumble for a whole bunch of dice. Let me see how many dice Oops. it is. It's not bad. It's only 3d6. Plus. <laughs> so that is... Well, you, got, you didn't get hit too bad. That's 7 plus 6. You both take 13 points of damage. Burgle only had eight points of life and it killed him. Oh. Thaddeus is uh, the first one to react. It is still dark. You only saw a point of light and a flash uh, that went off. Uh, when you did, it looked like there were two shapes standing out behind the brazier. One of them was definitely gold and metallic. The other one looked like it was gray skin, slightly pointy ears, and uh, a big mass of muscles. Okay. Well, I'm going to um, throw my pearl hilt filleting knives. You're just going to throw them in the dark? You cannot um, see him back there yet. I can't. I'm aiming for where the shapes were in that split second okay sure you can do that um let me i'm going to okay good i'm ready to actually show you guys stuff when it becomes time to show you guys okay so you are going to throw where you saw the images flash uh yeah the probably where the image of gold was because it is dark I am going to say that you are rolling with disadvantage. I'm not surprised. All right, so go ahead, roll to hit. Uh, we have to take the lowest of the two rolls. For uh, I mean, we play Pathfinder, but we still like to use <laughs> disadvantage in the game. And what was that one? <laughs> <laughs> Including my my uh, bonus of plus fourteen, I've got fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> As you throw the knife, you hear it go, it connects with something. You hear it go, patink. That's all you hear, and it just goes phew, off into the darkness somewhere. You'll get it back in a couple of rounds, luckily, because of your magic gloves, but mm. uh, yeah. Okay, second one. Second one. Uh, five plus 14 is the usual bonus. I, Five plus 14. Uh, at disadvantage. And you're throwing at that same thing, aren't you? So yeah. 19. Do, do, do. Um, misses. Okay. Ooh, that's, that's, an, that's, we that's know he has an armor class. An armor class you might say. Sorry, what was 19 missed? 19 mm -hmm. missed. Okay. Uh, at a disadvantage because I couldn't actually see it. Oh, oh I forgot right. to begin the encounter. Here we go, begin the encounter. Do, 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 do. There it will have popped up the whole thing for you and all of the usual stuff. Uh, that means that it becomes... Wait, who is Pergorus? Well, now I guess you know what his name is. <laughs> Pergorus. That was one of the bad guys that we were kind of watching for. Yeah, in the notes. Like yeah, in the, in the notes. In the and it becomes Percy Red Feather's chance to do something. I have dark vision. Will that be of any assistance in this particular yes. situation? Yes. You luck up and you focus with your dark vision. And 
This is what you can see. I'm going to light this up because now it's over for Thaddeus' turn. You see two shapes out there. And those uh, shapes that you see, let's uh, get a... Uh, Oh, hold on here. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this this adventure screen. This stupid tracker is kind of a pain in the ass. Let's get it out of the way and uh, close this up. Boom. And we're gonna move this over like this so you guys can see what you're dealing with. Uh, so you see the two shapes, and you can make them out because of your Weir Tiger enhanced eyes. <clears throat> and so the scene that you see uh, as you uh, are uh, looking is that one of these shapes has turned and is clearly concerned about the damage that's being done to the other shape. And everybody else see this now too. They're very concerned about the damage that's being done to the other shape. So did it show up? Yes, it did. That is what you are up against, ladies and gentlemen. It, like, it's, it is, is it as big compared to us as it looked on that screen? It is uh, scale compared to you. Uh, obviously, the gray shape is perjurous, and perjurous is, uh, I'm going to say that he's about seven feet tall, and so is the machine beside him. Oh, shoot. Shoot. All right. Okay, so my uh, twin takedown, um, my two shots from the black bow, are 29 and 23. Wow, those are good shots. Who are you aiming at? I am aiming at the dark shape, the uh, creature, the troll. Okay. Perjurous. You're aiming at Perjurous. Yeah, guy. we don't know his name yet. Okay. Officially. You don't officially I'm not know aiming his name. at the golden shape. I am yeah. aiming you're at aiming the at shape. the gray muscular shape, yep. and you hit him. Okay, and uh, that is shadow bow damage. One d eight plus two piercing plus one d six shadow. Change my d eight. Yeah, there we go. D eight plus two. Plus one D six shadow. One six seven eight nine uh four one six plus six is twelve and nine is twenty one hit points of damage, and that's just my first and action. Ooh. 21 hit points. 21 hit points of damage. So first. you do this thunk, thunk, both arrows yeah. hit, right? Right. And you see two arrows sticking out of this massive muscular gray behemoth. He's like, ah, that hurts. <laughs> All right. Nice. Oh, you said 26? Tw or 21? 21. 21 damage? 21 okay, damage. that's what I thought, thought you said. 21 damage. Uh, give. Math is hard. Okay, I got it. Well, uh, gosh, Nardal. Okay, and next one is uh, it's at twenty-one, and that's my second action. Is a twenty-one fire with the arrow, and uh, I only said what's that get? Oh no, wait, it's thirteen. So, so you're still standing right where you were. Need twenty-three. Because it's strike plus thirteen with shadow bow, so yeah, twenty. Let's go to triple, triple is better for this. I'd like to do triple wounds. Like uh, triple. So you were saying I got it. Oh, it. Uh, I so it. you were saying twenty three for the second shot. You hit him, yep. and it's twenty three. But yeah, it was a twenty to attack, right? To attack, hits. Okay, and uh, so that's yet again. And your shadow bow, right? One d eight. Yes, yeah, shadow bow. Uh, five. Plus two, six, seven, plus one D six, eight, nine, nine damage. Third oh, action. Ooh, nine Guess what damage. Time is. Oh. So folks, we are going to take a break. I'm going to add that damage so I don't forget, which makes it 
Okay. Okay, the ad damage has been added to Perjurus. We're going to take a break, guys. Uh, for those of you watching the episodes, we'll be uh, uploading this episode in a day or two, and then um, the next episode after it, a couple of days after that. Uh, you can easily find them on YouTube. For those of you that are watching the live right now, uh, stick around. We'll be back in, it's 8.05. We're going to be back at 8.15. This is Mountain Standard Time. So 10 minutes. And a shout out to Pete, who's watching us on YouTube. Hey, hey Pete. Pete. Good to see you. Pete Miro, my buddy. He's, he was we here think the other he night. And actually visited with us in the game. Okay, that's it. We're going down to...